I've opened the workbook named Work Orders 01, and in here we have a list of service calls from the past few years. We have the name of the technician under Lead Tech, the type of service that was performed. It might have been a delivery, a repair, an assessment, and we see the date that was done, and we can see whether it was under warranty or not, and how many hours the job took, and several other columns that we'll look at later. This table was set up as an Excel table, and we can see the Table Tools tab on the ribbon, and if I click that, the Design tab, we can see all the tools we can use when working with this table. Here's the name of the table, Work Orders, and we're going to create a pivot table by clicking Summarize with Pivot Table and it sees the name of our table. So work orders is the table we're in right now. And we'll click OK. And that creates a new sheet in the workbook and an empty pivot table. I want to see the technicians, what kind of service calls they were on, and the hours for those calls. So I'll check Lead Tech, and that puts the tech names in the row labels area. I also want to see the service call types, so I'll check that. And it all also goes into the row area, but I'd prefer it as headings across the top. So in the field list, I'm going to drag service up into column labels. So now it shows the service types across the top of the pivot table. And in here, in the values area, we want to see their hours. So I'll go to the field list again, scroll down till I can see labor hours, check that, and it automatically goes into the values area. And there was no text of any kind in that field, so it goes in as a sum of labor hours. So we can see that Burton has spent a total of 70 hours, 0.75, doing assessments. Now, we would like to see the average time that each technician spends on the different types of service calls. So to do that, we're going to change from sum to a different summary function. I'll right click on cell B5 and go down to summarize data by. And instead of sum, I'll click average. So there are the averages, but they look rather long and messy. Some are one decimal or two, and most are many decimals. So it's too hard to read this and compare the numbers. So to format it, I'm going to change the number format. So I'll right click here on cell E7 and go down to value field settings. And we can see the average selected here. I'm going to click Number Format. And in the Format Cells dialog box, General is selected. I'll click Number so I can control the decimal places. It's defaulting to 2, so I'm going to leave that and click OK. And click OK again. So now we have the average of labor hours. Everything's nicely formatted and easy to read. So we can see, for example, that Mugford had 2.42 average hours spent on an installation.